Good morning again, folks. Uh, a little kind of a breaking news story here. Looks like uh, Ted Butler has finally decided to chime in on the current uh, ongoing CFTC uh, hearing. Uh, well, no longer ongoing, but mysteriously uh, suspended CFTC hearing. Um, just wanted to show you his archives here. If you notice, uh, he's grown somewhat silent of late. Uh, if you look back in, he, Ted used to do uh, four, four to eight uh, commentaries a month. Starting in August, he he's gotten down to one a month. So he's grown strangely silent. But he did he did put one out today, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, What's happening is the rumors are that uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, under pressure from a lot of various lawsuits, uh, crash J.P. Morgan, CFTC investigation, uh, is uh, the rumor is they're trying to buy time so they can offload their shorts to foreign banks and avoid the CFTP, CFTC position limits. Um, <clears throat> so let's jump to the uh, Ted Butler article. It's called a showstopper. Uh, for all those who watched the historic CFTC meeting December 16th on position limits, know your eyes didn't deceive you. The meeting ended strangely and abruptly. No vote was taken on the staff's proposal, and you should be scratching your head at what actually transpired. As strange as a sudden adjournment to the most important meeting in CFTC history might be, there was a wealth of knowledge and confirmation to be drawn from it. This meeting was perhaps the most significant and positive development toward ending the long-term silver manipulation that I have witnessed in my 25-year involvement. Silver investors should come away from this meeting with a strong conviction of how things will turn out. Now, as an aside here, uh, Bix Weir shared that he wrote an angry letter to the CFTC because apparently the congressional law that requires these position limits to be implemented under the new uh, um, hedge fund regulation uh, bill that was passed was the deadline was the uh, midnight of, th of the 16th and they suspended the meeting and didn't so uh, didn't make a ruling so uh, Bix is claiming that the CFTC is actually in violation of the law and he's written an angry letter uh, demanding that they enforce the law anyway to continue on uh, Ted says I know there are deep differences between the five commissioners on the matter of position limits even though such limits are now mandated by law I know that the CME group COMEX and NYMEX is pulling out all the stops to prevent, delay, and water down any position limits that may be enacted. But I also know that there is one glaring truth that accounts for the dissension and turmoil revealed at the meeting. This is all about silver and its manipulation. If it weren't for silver, this meeting and the issue of position limits would be a non-event. There is no current concentration problem in any other commodity. Because of the fact that silver has been manipulated in price and position limits would terminate that manipulation, the CME and JP Morgan want to derail any move towards these limits. Keep this fact in mind as it is a central issue. When it comes to market regulation in silver, the CMA group does not do the right thing. They are only interested in their bottom line and the devil with everyone else. However, the CME is designated as a self-regulatory organization by law, which means they have special responsibilities as the frontline defense against market wrongdoing. Now, I don't know if you knew, but the, uh, the CME group is actually a publicly traded company. Uh, they were, spun, uh, they were uh, um, spun off and uh, IPO'd back in 2004 here. And uh, so they ran all the way to 700 and then... Uh, crashed down to about two, and now they're rallying back. Be interesting to see if there's any uh, repercussions in the price of the stock. Seems to be a little rally here. Uh, the day after they mysteriously suspended those uh, meetings, so it looks like CME won a little um, <coughs> skirmish in the war. So back to Ted. Um, this is an issue in which. This is an issue in which the public has spoken loud and clear and is downright un-American to, to public opinion and then ignore that opinion. My sense is that the CFTC is trying to be as accommodated to the CME exchange as possible in order to ease the way into new position limits as required by law. Instead, the CME turned increasingly hostile to any change in its position limits. My advice to the CFTC is to stop trying to reason with the CME and take proper measures to end the silver crime in progress. Now, like I said before, uh, rumors are that J.P. Morgan is trying to uh, shift these silver shorts off to foreign banks that 
will no longer come under the regula regulation of the CFTC. Commissioner Bart Chilton, much to his credit, made a number of recent statements that gave me great encouragement. He's confirmed that a single entity controlled 35 to 40 percent of the short side of the Comex Silver earlier this year. He did not identify J.P. Morgan as that entity because he's precluded by law from doing so. Chilton also indicated that he's he thought a 1500 contract limit for silver to be reasonable. But it was something that Chilton said in a speech two days before the meeting that rocked me. In essence, Chilton proposed that any time a trader hits the proposed position limit and is holding a hedge exemption from the position limits, the agency would closely review the details of the underlying swaps that allowed the exemption. Importantly, Chairman Gensler ratified Chilton's approach at the hearing and directed staff to initiate this approach immediately. The chairman's exact words were, make it so. Why was I rocked? because I thought the agency was already doing this. Then it dawned on me that verifying whether the OTC swaps position that allowed J.P. Morgan to hold obscenely concentrated COMEX short position was handled by the CME as part of their role as an SRO, a self-regulatory organization. The CFTC never got to examine the details of what swaps justified J.P. Morgan's concentrated silver short position. Now, what, what swaps could they... J.P. Morgan doesn't mine silver. What, what swaps? It, it doesn't make any sense. It's all paper, paper for paper. It's silly. In an instant, I knew how the silver scam was allowed to continue this long. The exchange decided what OTC swaps were legitimate, not the CFTC. But with Chilton's position points approach, it would now be the agency doing the verification. Talk about a game changer. I'm not going to finish the article, but I'll go ahead and link it for you. Um, so Ted Butler has spoken out. Uh, Jason Hommel's mentioned this. Bix Weiris mentioned this. The CFTC um, apparently is in violation of the law. We don't know that. We don't know for sure uh, what the Congress is going to do. But it does appear that uh, the CME and J.P. Morgan have put pressure on the CFTC to prevent them from forcing the position limits. And the whole issue is silver. We know it's silver. We know that uh, it, it, it has the most concentrated short position. It's a tiny market. Uh, many suspect the Federal Reserve is behind J.P. Morgan. And uh, so this is a big game. Uh, it's uh, really, you know, on the edge right now. Um, price of silver seems to be flatlining, although it looks like the MACD wants to... Um, wants to go up but we're just at a inflection point here so things are heating up we're gonna see where it goes and uh, talk to you next time